past four in the morning. Um, we're on our way to Abu Simbel. Um, you can tell from the way my voice is sounding, that it's way too early. But this is like one of the highlights of the whole trip. Um, and so we're excited about it in a, in a very tired way. Um, it plans to be a really good day and um, we're making our way there. It's a very difficult place to get to, that's why we have to leave so early in order to get it. So you'll see us on the trip and you'll see the interviews with everybody. But for now, tired. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Um, how was your trip up here? I understand you had to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. It wasn't too bad getting up once you, once you got up, but yeah, it's an early start. But you've got all your time in it. It would have been fine, but um, I kind of woke up an hour earlier than I was meant to and um, panicked. <laughs> And went back to sleep and then had to be woken up at four o'clock. <laughs> so, so you didn't get no breakfast? No, but I had some, um, I, well I had an apple and I had a cereal bar, so that's what I had. Up for breakfast at three in the morning, just too early on occasion. <laughs> but, uh, well, it's nice to be here and the trip was okay. Okay, I, I'm here. okay <laughs> I understand this is one of the eighth wonders of the world. Um, have you been to any other apart from this one? No, this is my first one. <laughs> yeah, this is my first one. I guess it's mine as well. I'm lucky then, I've been to one other. Um, that was in when we went to Greece. Um, uh, there was two of them actually over in Greece. So yeah, I was fortunate. So how did you find it? Um, I think it's really spectacular, I, you know, I don't know much about Egyptology, but um, just just looking at all the statues and the, the hieroglyphics, it's just amazing, it really is. Um, what do you think of the um, architecture and uh, the stone stonery? It's amazing to think that, you know, that long ago they were that creative and that artistic that they could, you know, forge all these different things, pick all the different types of stones that they knew would last. So, yeah, I mean, when you go in there and you look at all the faded colours, it just makes you think, wow, how long did it actually take you to do all these things and get them all together? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Um, you guys have a great day. I hope you're not hungry now. <laughs> but, yeah, make sure you get plenty of water and rehydrate yourself. And we've been up since three o'clock and it's nine o'clock. It's nearly a whole day. Well, Clive, I think we're out of here, we're done. It's Sabbath morning and um, although there are only seven wonders of the world, they were saying that if there was an eighth wonder of the world, the temple here at Abu Simbel um, to Ramesses and his wife Nefertari would have been the eighth. What a wonderful, what a spectacular edifice this is when you go inside and you see the reliefs on the wall that let the, um, the, the other um, nations of Nubia, the Hittites, let them know as they came up that Ramesses was the king here and Ramesses was the one who um, 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 ruled over all the nations. The temple over to the left of us was um, built um, in honor of his wife Nefertari and their children, which also makes the biblical story so much more fascinating and so much more incredible. That when you think about these people like Ramesses and you think about the Egyptian kingdom at the time, and the Egyptian kingdom and the pharaohs were worshipped as gods. When you think that the gods of slaves, the god of a simple group of slaves was the one who just devoured this whole kingdom and freed these people and sent them to their own promised land. And the, the nations ahead of them had fear. All these nations that he built these monuments to keep in fear, these nations had fear simply because he fed them water from rocks and fed them manna from the sky. It makes the biblical story all the more great. But this is a wonderful place. It's a, a wonderful sense of history. And it's great to be here on a Sabbath morning. Um, there's so much more, and I know you're going to see so much more during the day. But for now, peace. This has been Bobby Bovell on the YLC, SEC YLC 2010. I suppose I'd summarise by saying we should stop thinking about what we can't do and really focus on what we can do. Stop, thinking, stop focusing on the criticism, 
uh, that we might receive for what we're doing and just try and focus on those who are positive and also it's really important just to try and get people on side and speak to them about your values and your vision in a way that will allow them to see that this is something you're passionate about and a lot of times you'll find that uh, you can get over some barriers that way. But understand that you know God can use you if your heart is right and you and you want to go in the right direction. Well, um, we're coming to the end of our tours, um, but um, I'd just like to introduce you to Rania. This was um, our guide. Um, she was fantastic. Um, just like to ask you a few questions. Um, what made you um, become um, sort of a guide on trips like this? I was very much interested in our history, and I know that um, everyone. Uh, cherish its history but Egypt has a very very old very long history and I consider Egypt truly the um, land of everyone this is not just the history of the Egyptians this is every man's history so I was very passionate about our history ever since the age of 10 I know very well that I will do something connected to the history and the archaeology of Egypt okay um, I was um, speaking to Clive and um um, apparently that uh, you got some um, sort of connection with Turkey is that right <laughs> My grandmother she was oh, okay. Turkish so yeah. I'm half half Turkish half Egyptian yeah. and I wanted to go one day to Turkey to discover my roots okay. well I've been to Turkey and it's a fantastic country and they're very nice people there so obviously your upbringing has um, you know not gone astray with you, you're a very polite person. Um, um, well, I'd like to ask you also, um, what did you have to do to um, s study all that information? We actually, uh, all of the guides that you've seen during this week, we um, studied uh, for four years in Cairo University to have a very intense course of uh, history, archaeology, mm -hmm. ancient languages, uh, it wasn't easy, but because we love it and we have that passion for the subject, um, it was quite fun for us to study about the names of the gods and the kings and the different sites as well and the plans. And I know it was too much taken for you as tourists, but I'm quite sure that when you go back you will bring books and you will watch documentaries and you would know more about uh, all of the p places that you've been to. Okay, so we're going away to Cairo tomorrow to go and see um, the museum. Um, would you say a week would be um, suffice to um, <laughs> visit Cairo or no, I do you would need say, more I would than say just a day? You need more just a day, definitely more, more than a week to cover every single part of Cairo. Cairo is one of the biggest cities in the whole world with a population of 22 million people and uh, beautiful sites, yeah. whether pyramid sites or modern sites or the mosques, the church. And the, the modern life in Egypt itself is very rich. And to absorb everything, definitely you need more than a day and more than a week. That's right. Uh, okay. Well, I'd like to thank you very much. Um, I hope to see you one day in this uh, life that we have. Um, maybe we come back. Um, but I, you know, I like pray that God will continue to bless you, thank you very on much. your very career, kind. and um, and that you know uh, soon you'll go to Turkey. And um, I hope to see you back here in Egypt okay. as well. Thank you thank very, you very much. much for the interview. Okay. Thank Enjoy you. your evening. Okay. You thank you. Clive, back to you, mate. Um, I'm not looking the best, <laughs> but. Um, just come out of the swimming pool and we just had an interview here with Rania who was our tour guide and
sorry about that, um, who was our tour guide, and we believe that she was fantastic. So, to YLC 2010, Egypt, come on, Jerusalem, let's go. Okay, we're here um, on the boat. It's a Saturday night and uh, we've had a fantastic week. It's been just the best ever. And uh, we're looking now uh, at the, uh, well, let's have a review. Let's have a review of the day. Uh, we, we woke up very early this morning. I believe it was about three o'clock. I, I got a wake up call at three o'clock, um, um, sharp. This phone's right next to my head, so it was sharp. Tell us a little bit about where we went. I believe we, 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 we went to Abu Simbel. We, we went to Abu Simbel. Um, we went to visit the um, temple of Ramesses. Um, it's a twin temple built to um, Ramesses and his wife Nefertiri. Um, it's, very, it's in a very awkward place to get to. But once you got there and you saw the edifice, it, it was something very spectacular. It was, it was, it was gargantuan. I believe they call it the eighth wonder of the world. Would you would you, would you agree with them? If there was an eighth wonder, then that definitely rates up there with the eighth wonder yeah. of the world. It, it was a spectacular, spectacular sight. And now we are sailing down the Nile. Um, we're, 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 we've got a, a very special show tonight. I'm, I'm seeing you dressed up. I'm seeing you dressed up in your Galibera. What's, yeah. what's, what's going it's on a, tonight? It's a, it's, a, it's a Galibera show, which basically is a very... Um, Egyptian show, it's a cultural show, and we've all been dressed up in the same thing. As you look around and pan around, I'm sure you'll see everyone dressed in their galabiras and um, male and female. We're gonna have a great night tonight, and we're gonna do some, do some new things in some new ways. Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's gonna be Egyptian music uh, mixed with a bit of Western music. We're gonna, you know, see if we can do a little two-step in as well as all our other step in. So it's going to be a great night. It's going to be a great night of youth ministry. Yeah. Remember, this is about youth ministry. And um, that's the story we're sticking with. That's the story we're sticking with. Have a good night. Yeah. Peace.